Hi and welcome to the channel. Been here before. Welcome back. If it's your first time, stick around because today we're replacing the wind deflectors on the van. So today we're going to be replacing these wind deflectors. As you can see, you've got a, a big chunk out of there and that one's actually snapped. Um, <laughs> what actually happened there was, obviously these have been on the van for God knows how long. Um, I had the window down, there was just me and Bracken in. Um, and I had the window down when we were all parked up. And I went to drop it down and he put his head through. And then as he pulled back, his collar caught on there, just snagged and it's just snapped it. So obviously it was just brittle. So I think it's time to replace these. So let's get to the unboxing. Um, these are the ones that I actually have. Uh, these are from a company called uh, Klim Air car comfort um, they were just from Amazon um, I'll leave a link down below in the description I did have a look on there was a couple of other sites a couple of VW sites that had these on and they were priced at 34 quid and I thought oh, that's not too bad but then when I went actually onto it, it they were 34 pound each plus the postage um, the whole thing came up about nearly 90 quid and I thought, no, I'm not paying that. So anyway, I ended up back on Amazon. And I have actually bought from this company before when I had uh, uh, I had a Jaguar XF for a few years back and I put wind deflectors on there. Um, so anyway, I thought I'd give these a try again. I think the whole thing worked out about £50, just under 50 So if I can get into the box, we shall see what we've got. So that's what we've got in the box. So we have two wind deflectors, uh, we have the instructions, uh, seems to be something else in there, let's just take it out of the, the package. On. So nice bit of uh, Detailing on the logo on the on the end there. Hopefully you can see that. So it's uh, etched in, and that is Klim Air Sport, made in Germany. Um, I actually went for the smoky grey or black, um, as it is. Um, obviously, I've got a silver van. I just thought it would be the best option. So obviously, in the pack we get two of them. We get the fitting instructions. Uh, we got a couple of little bits in there. Uh, not 100% sure what these are. There looks to be two little metal clips, two little rubber bits, and three or four tiny screws. So we'll check on that. Um, comes with Federal Motor Transport Authority of Germany type approval. Obviously, yeah, not be reading all of that. So, anyway, come back in a second. Hmm, right, so these are a little bit different to what I've had in the past. So, the way these seem to work is that you have this that wedges into the window. Then there is a small rubber piece that slides onto the, the end. Then the metal piece with the screw. Now, yeah, these are different to what I've had before. Um, so the way to fix these is you need a drill. You need a one millimeter drill bit and yeah, that's not good. So, just going to pull these old ones out. Now, I think these are the ones with clips in. Yes, they are. So, they do have a clip in there and a clip in there. I 
third one, that's it. That's the third spring clip that was in there. So I think now that's all of the clips out of the old ones. Now let's just offer this up a little bit. So the way this one is, I don't know if you can see on there. So you have a rubber bit that pushes on there first and then this little metal bit that actually has a small screw hole in it. I didn't know this when I actually bought these wrong. I'm going to see how the offer up and then take from there I think. I'm curious as to where that metal bit screws in. If that's there, I can't see how the window is actually going to open because that screw seems to be sitting inside the channel <coughs> where the window would come up and into there. So obviously does like all the rest of them, pushes up into the end of the channel um, and then down on the bottom we've got this weird bit now obviously that's the screw hole but obviously the glass runs up this channel here which is then going to get stuck when it gets to that let's just have another look at these instructions so we've got take your window down, fit the rubber to the bottom of the bit. Uh, where are we at? Yeah, so take your window down, fit the rubber and the metal bit so into there, push the corner in, push that up. Now that actually shows the window channel slightly further along on there. Um, and it's saying to use a one millimeter drill to put a pilot hole in before putting the screws in. So I'm just going to test if this window will go up or if it's going to catch. So bear with. Here it goes. That seemed to automatically go down there. Right, so it's catching. Oh no, it's actually gone. Right, so the window's up. So that's a bit weird where that is. Because obviously there's nothing to actually screw that into, it's just the rubber sail on the window where that's actually lying against at the moment. Um, so let's drop the window down, take it out and try again. It definitely looks like the way I've just had it is the way to do it, but Yeah, let's try again. So I've just put that back in and now seems that that actually sits there comfortably and then screwing into the plastic which I'm not keen on that either oh, right That would actually screw into there, and that's not a... Let's just 
go around and check the ones that I'm taking out because there's so it fits in here where the ones, the new ones, is actually coming right down to here so given slightly more wind deflection but means a hole in the panel hmm. Yeah, I'm not happy with them there. Yeah, I think this is going to be an exercise where I take that back out, put a bat in a bag, back in the box, and send it back to Amazon. So yeah, just really weird the way they fit onto there, and having to screw into the body is not good. Um, and they didn't feel secure inside the channel and only having that one tiny screw actually holding them in place and just to show you if you can see that is the size of the screw it's probably five millimeters long if that and that's what's holding it in place i know obviously when the wind goes up it's be very little chance of it coming out but with the window is down I think there's an easy chance of that coming out um, I know there are other ones that I've put in in the past they've even had little um, like double sided tape bits on the top just to sort of lock it in place while you're messing about trying to get the thing in but yeah not happy with that at all so I think Everything can go back in the bag, and these can be sent back. So, that was a bit of a weird one. I was hoping to do a video of uh, fitting these in. But instead, we've done a video of how bad a fit they are. It's a strange one. So that's Klim Air Car Comfort. Uh, so, I'll get these sent back, and then uh, i do a bit of an update video if we, if we get sorted with some more. So anyway, till the next time, see you in a bit.